Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather, your Saint Mama. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my simple, easy, everyday, natural makeup routine using the one and only Saint Beauty. So whether or not you have heard of the amazing custom makeup palette from Saint, or if you are just looking for a really simple, easy makeup routine that works great, regardless of what age you are, but is phenomenal if you're 40 plus, and maybe like me where you're running around, either with kids or grandkids or just having a busy life and you want a beautiful but natural makeup routine, today's the day where I'm gonna be showing you my simple five minute makeup look. Might take me longer than five minutes today just cause I'll be talking through it, but this is so easy, I promise you, you can do it and you're gonna get coverage, dimension, and you're still gonna look like yourself and enhancing the things that you love, but maybe minimizing some of the things that you don't love. So let's get into today's natural makeup tutorial. Okay, so I always start with just a fresh face. You do want to make sure that you have a layer of sunscreen. I got a facial this morning. So this is, it's by the brand ZO. I'm actually not sure which sunscreen it is, but I kind of like, it's like a nice glowy dewy layer, but you want to start with just really well moisturized skin and a layer of sun protection. Though our highlight, which is also known as foundation, does have titanium dioxide, which is an active ingredient for blocking the sun, but we do not label our products as being SPF or having skincare. So just for extra precaution, especially if you want to, you know, have beautiful skin and not <laughs> age, putting an extra layer of sun protection is not a bad thing. So I have all my brushes here, everything that I'm gonna use, which is probably, yes, definitely more than what I need <laughs> to use, but these are the ones in my arsenal. I keep everything in the little fun Saint bag, makeup bag, it's awesome. And of course, everything is in my custom palette. So this is the 3D palette 18 and it has everything in my face or in my palette that I need for a full face. And again, we're, today we're going for a natural look. So when I'm going for natural, I also kind of keep in mind that it's probably for a day that I'm on the go, like today, where I'm going from Pilates to recording a podcast to lunch with friends, and I want it to just be simple, natural for every day. And so I like to start when I do that with my contour. And I love using the detail hack brush because it's just so fast and easy. And I just start slapping it on. So sometimes you may see me where I'll do the highlight first. And I will do that when I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage or if I'm going for a little bit more precise glam look. But when I'm going for quick, easy, on the go, I like to start with my contour because honestly, that's the point of this makeup is you can do it in one layer and not have to do a million things to feel like you look beautiful enough to run out the door. So next up, I'm gonna go with my brightening highlight, same brush, and I am absolutely loving, this was kind of a happy accident in one of my previous videos when I was out of my, a lot of the different brightening highlights in my, in my palette. And I was like, well, let me just try Palace, which is a very pinky toned highlight color that's really great for super fair skin. But I thought, hmm, I wonder what it would look like underneath my eyes as a very, very natural way to kind of color correct any darkness, but not have this crazy bright pop like I would with something like linen or moonlit. And it's not even as dramatic and it feels like less product than something like white peach or aura. So I'm, I'm really loving palettes and regardless, whatever brightening highlight, and I can color match you, of course, with the link in my bio below or the link in the description below, I should say, and I'll recommend the perfect colors, but just know palettes can work for pretty much anybody that is, I'd say medium to light undertones that wants a really subtle, natural look. So isn't that pretty? I know you can't see the rest of it yet, but I just kind of brightened up the center of my face right here on my chin and again, under my eyes. Then next up, I'm gonna take the blush bronzer with my main highlight, which is Athens at the moment. Though I kind of have been wanting to pop back in some amber in the mix and see what that looks like, but we're gonna work with what we've got in the palette and maybe maybe I'll do that one in another episode. And I'm kind of blending and applying and honestly just filling in the blanks wherever I did not put the other colors. And I'm kind of blending everything out. And 
like I said, sometimes you'll see me where I will color correct with what I call a camo color to get a little bit of extra coverage on some areas that I might have like melasma or redness. But I'm not going to lie. I feel like just a thin, simple layer of the main highlight. If we nail the color, it gets the job done. So you can see my coverage is pretty dang good already. Okay, I'm just going to get that redness around my around my nose. So this is another key to keeping it just really natural is you're kind of blending and applying as you go. So you're not painting on more product than you need. The cream product a little goes a long way. So just keep that in mind. All right, I am going to do a little bit of bronzer because it's already there. Why not? And again, that's what's going to help give a, a more of a natural glow. And contour is what creates the shadow, whereas bronzer gives back a little bit of a warmth where the sun would hit you. And I think this is high tide. This is the new, the new one, newest bronzer collection. But see how that just brings like a really natural sun-kissed look? But I still get the sculpt from the contour and a little bit of brightening, but I just don't look overly made up. So, all right, next up, we're going to do one of my favorite natural lip and cheeks, and that is Nude. This is a universal color that works honestly on pretty much anyone's skin tone. I would say if you prefer a more bright but still want a good neutral natural color, Madrid is another really universal good one. But Nude is so pretty because it does go on like a natural nude, but it has like a little bit of a pink to it that just kind of mimics the natural flush and undertone of our face. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to put a little bit of our most natural illuminator, which is Angel. And you can skip this. This is not necessary. Oh, and by the way, a pin exploded on me. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but I had a pin explode on me today. Whoopsies. But Angel is really, really pretty and subtle enough for every day. And again, since I've already got it in my palette, why not use it? I'm going to pop a little bit right on the cupid's bow. I know you a little bit right in the center of my lips too, just to while I've got it on my finger. And then I'm going to take some of my lip conditioner because, again, we're going for natural today. And then let's plump up these lips. So this might not seem like a natural thing to do, but it's honestly, since I've learned how to do this, I do it every single day because it's so easy. I just take a little bit of my contour and either the multitasker brush or, honestly, sometimes I'll just use my brow brush, but just a flat brush, a little bit of your contour color, and Astoria is what I'm using today. It's my favorite for this. And you kind of underline, like from, don't go all the way to the corner, just like the middle two thirds. And then a little bit, you're not drawing a, a mustache, but you're just kind of dusting a little tiny bit up on your lip line and kind of blending it out. And look how pretty and natural that is. If you feel like you needed a little bit more color, you can pop, like I've got black cherry, which again, you wouldn't think is natural, right? It's kind of bold, but let me pop some of that on there. And you can see that it can be really subtle, especially when you layer it with something like the lip conditioner. See, it's natural, but it still looks like a little bit more, like brings a little bit of color to my face, which I think is really nice. Okay, so that's foundation done. Super easy peasy. Next up, let's do eyes. So I'm gonna do another just easy, natural, everyday eyeshadow look. This is honestly my go-to. You've probably seen me do this before if you've watched some of my videos, but I did, if you notice, put a layer of the palace just lightly on my eyelid to create an eyeshadow base. And then I just dust the color. This is Cafe, right? Chai, just kidding, not Cafe, it's Chai. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I either use chai or pup, one of the two every day, but today we're going to go with chai just because it's a really pretty natural base color and it's one that you may or may not have seen before. So see how pretty, I mean, I could throw on some mascara and be out the door, but it doesn't take much longer to go in with a little bit of a deeper color. So this is lullaby and it's one that isn't too scary for you natural girls. And if you've got hooded eyes, all you have to do is just press up up underneath that brow bone, kind of like the contour or cheekbone. You're going to kind of contour your brow bone. Do not be scared to go above like that. And our brush, the eyeshadow brush is my favorite way to apply it because you can just take it and place it and then we'll flip it over to blend in just a second. But I don't worry about blending too much. I'm more just slap it on <laughs> like you do with the highlight and contour. See, and I'm not going all the way in because I'm not trying to enhance 
the this part. I don't want my eyes to look deep set. I just want to shadow out just a little bit to give a little bit more lift. Then I'm going to take Baba, which is a must for everybody. It's a nice, pretty warm brown. And especially if you have blue eyes, though it works with green, brown, anything. It is so pretty to just kind of soften and warm up whatever eyeshadow look that you've got. Even if you're going for a cool, smoky eye, Bubba is magic in the crease. And I kind of blend and apply at the same time, like almost how I did with my foundation again. I'm, I'm dusting it on with the fluffy side and just kind of giving that natural warmth, putting a little bit, dragging it underneath my lash line because that is a natural look, you guys. Having like a clean white like triangle under your eye, that's not how you would naturally look. So going back and adding like a tiny little bit of warmth and not trying to take away too much when you're doing your makeup is a really beautiful thing. So see how simple that is? Then I'm gonna take Drift, which is kind of like a shimmery champagne, I would call it. Pop it on the inner corner to look more awake. Up on the brow bone to give a little bit of a subtle shimmer. And that's it, because we're going natural today. So I'm going with like a really matte look, which is really good for women who are over 40, I would say, who want just like an easy, natural look that's great for every day. It's not gonna settle into fine lines or enhance wrinkles, but it's gonna make your eyes look really beautiful. So next up, and really last, we've got brows. So I'm using the brow brush, or the line brush is what it's called, to kind of brush up my brows. And then once again, I'm going back to my friend, the contour. So you can see everything's so multi-purpose, it makes it so easy to use. And a little simple, natural brow lesson is you just wanna follow your natural line of your brows. I kind of do one line on the top, one line on the bottom, and you kind of go up to a point there like that, and then kind of fill in, because as we age, our brows tend to get a little sparse here. And then I take a tiny little bit more and just fill in right here. So we're going for natural, we're going for simple, fast, and using your contour is a natural way to kind of pull in the depth of your hair into your brows, which again, when a color match you, that is the way, that's one of the things I look for is the deepness in your hair color and in your roots so that your brows can kind of stand out and get defined. So it doesn't always work to where your, your contour can work if you have a really warm one it might pull a little bit too warm to use it in your brows, but try it one day and see. You just need a flat brush. If it's not the line brush, you just need some kind of, like the multi, my mom loves the multitasker brush. You can just use that like that. Okay, and if you, speaking of the multitasker, if you see any areas, like there's right here, I've got like a little kind of a spot. If you have anywhere that you want to give a little bit more coverage, take a tiny brush like the multitasker and just pop a little bit of your darkest highlight, not your lightest, and just pop it right on the spot where you need just a little bit more coverage. You can pat it in, blend it in. And if it's a really gnarly, like a, like a zit, this is, I don't know what this is, you guys, I'm going to the dermatologist, so hopefully it's nothing crazy, but, and then I don't know what this is, but you can just take a little bit of your highlight don't go too crazy. We're one for natural. You do not have to be perfectly made up here, okay? But you can just take a little bit and it will correct any blemishes or anything you've got going on. All right. Did I do everything? I think I did everything. The last step is just going to be mascara, which nobody really wants to see somebody putting on mascara, but <laughs> so I'll skip right, right to that. All right, friends, that's it. So this is my natural, easy, everyday five minute makeup routine that I promise anybody can do. So if you haven't yet tried this makeup and you want to be color matched with the perfect colors, you can click the link in my description below and I can help customize the perfect palette for you. If you're already working with a Saint artist, please continue shopping with her. I love being your, your Saint Mama, whether or not I'm your official Saint Mama. So I'm still here to help. So comment below if you have questions. And I'll also link to a list of all the colors that I used in case you look like you might be a similar color to what I did. And if you want to see the lip and cheeks and the eyeshadow colors and all the things as well, 
but don't let this makeup intimidate you. I can promise you it is as easy as you think it is. You just have to kind of erase what you think about makeup <laughs> and embrace the fact that the cream makeup goes so far and a little goes a long way, but you do want to focus on just enhancing those, those features by doing things, subtle things like lifting with a contour or taking the time to define your brows or going with a really pretty warm color to, to enhance your eye color. So these are all really simple tips and tricks that hopefully will help you fall as much in love with this makeup as I have. And I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more like this if you want it. So bye guys, have a great week. Mm -hmm.